What's up, guys? Trey here with Ghost Tactical with uh, a very special guest. We're at the uh, Smith & Wesson booth here at SHOT Show 2018. We've got uh, a special guest here. She's a veteran. She's a mother. She's a gun activist. She's a competitive shooter. But between the two of us, we have over 120 local, state, <laughs> national, and world championships. She's got them all. <laughs> uh, but uh, I just wanted to say hi and thank you so much for taking some time out of your day. I know you're busy. My pleasure. I just want, I'm, I'm bringing a different view from SHOT Show. I wanted okay. to talk a little bit first. We'll talk about competitive shooting. Absolutely. Real quick, how did you get into competitive shooting? I'm a daddy's girl. I started shooting uh, with my dad when I was uh, young in upstate New York of all places. Really? Yeah. That's so, interesting. Yeah, it's amazing. They have so many great places to shoot in New York. And you, from the way you hear it in the media, yeah. it's, you know, well, certainly it's, not it's the case. It's probably sectors that are not not very gun friendly, exactly. but it is what exactly. it is. But yeah, just I grew up shooting with him and wonderful world of shooting sports embraced me and uh, here we are today. Yeah, if you guys are interested in getting involved in shooting sports, IDPA, USPSA, they're also welcoming to new newcomers. So if you're interested, just take the gun that you already have, get yourself a holster, go sign up for an event, and, and people are so welcoming to the shooting world. So let's get in there. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is, is women and firearms yes. in the community. And I think that's a huge demographic that is missing from the community. And I know that you're a big activist for getting women and all that, but yeah. what do you think is a good way for someone to try to bring in more women into the gun ward? Is it taking them to the range? Is it? What do you think is the best way to do that? You know, typically speaking, women are big researchers. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times people are like, oh, I'll just take you to the range and we'll have fun, right? right? right. But women kind of like to ease into some things. So you can show videos, you can you can show magazine articles, you can kind of share your channel. Go to Amazon and <laughs> exactly. all of that and show them all that different And stuff. open that door so they can see, oh wow, I'm not going to be the only one that does this. You know, there are other women that do this too. And do you think intimidation is kind of a, a big factor? Is going to be the only one out there? But, well, we flock to what we like, right? Right. And, you know, guns are typically Absolutely. what a lot of gentlemen like. Right, right. <laughs> um, but there are a lot of women that like that, too. Yeah. And so I think the key is, you know, encouraging but not forcing, uh, but making sure that the entire experience is welcoming. Yeah. If, if you're out there and you're thinking about getting to the gun community and firearms, don't be afraid to uh, find some training at the local range. Absolutely. More importantly, if it's more comfortable, go find, there are many very awesome female instructors out there. I yeah. know Julie does <laughs> training, so yeah. check out her at juliegollop.com. <laughs> check you. her out. Thank you. But, uh, you know, there are some great firearm instructors that might help you get in there. Absolutely. Um, the, the last thing I want to talk about All right. is this bad <laughs> boy. This is Julie's book that came out a couple weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah. I ordered yeah, it last new. week, so uh, it's fairly new. You. Yes, yes. Um, and it's called Toys tools, guns, and rules. And I've read this a couple times, and it's, it's a really great book uh, to introduce kids into guns and explain to parents how to introduce kids into guns. Would you like to talk about the book? Sure, absolutely. You know, one of the things that I'm looking for as a mom, you know, we have great programs out there from Project Child Safe, the McGruff series, yes, McGruff, classic, yeah. Eddie Eagle. Yep. But I wanted a book out there that showed real families, real kids, people. And I wanted to talk about firearms a little bit more in depth. Instead of just the avoidance message, which is universal, right. don't stop, go t you know, don't touch, absolutely, go get an adult. Um, I wanted to to kind of dive into the dangerous components of a firearm. I love it. Trigger muzzle. Yeah. I mean, this is what it comes down to. That's right. And in little kids, if there's a button, they're going to push, push it. it. If there's a dial, they're going to turn it. And if they if it has a trigger, I love pull the it. part in here where there is an illustration of a nightstand. Right. And it's a gun, and it's talking about uh, teach your children if they come up with a, an open firearm, unsafe, you know, I'm not saying unsafe, but unsecured firearm. Right, right. Without touch, go find someone you trust. Right. In the very next picture, same stand, nightstand, but the gun was gone. Right. And someone had come in as an adult or whatever and secured that firearm. Right. And that's not just for kids. That's yeah. for adults to understand that if you're going to leave unsecured firearms around the house, you know, we need to understand that there's kids around, there's there's different procedures you've got to Absolutely. go with. Absolutely. And it's not just, you know, prevention of, you know, kids getting to it. I mean, this is a theft thing, too. You're right. I mean, it, it's safe storage is really what we should be talking right. about. Are there going to be more books coming down the line? Um, the, uh, <laughs> hopefully. Maybe a cookbook. Maybe maybe oh, a really? next steps, you know, kind of thing, like how to introduce your children to actual shooting sports. That'd be great. That'd be a lot of fun. That'd be absolutely. Well, Julie, really thank you. Oh, no, my you're pleasure. Busy. Thank, thank you so, you so much. much. I want to thank Julie once again for joining us, and uh, thank you for the interview. 
guys to check out Julie and all that she does and all of her ventures, please visit her website, www.juliegollop.com. Here you can see uh, her guns and gear that she uses in her competitions. You can find her books that you can purchase. You can see all that she does for the community, pictures, her podcasts, her, her YouTube channels, all of that, her uh, Instagram, everything that you could possibly want to uh, to find on Julie and to follow her on all of her social media platforms. You can find it at www.juliegollop.com. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Simplify.